Hello, YouTubers. Joe Kersey here in Durham at the Radisson Blue Hotel in room 358 on October 5th, 2017, Thursday at 18.48 in the evening, British summertime. Just got back from evening prayer at the cathedral. Now, I'm going to stick some clips on at the end of this. I don't know what I'm going to stick on, but I'll stick some on. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll, be, maybe it'll be the cathedral after I've walked, you know, got done and stood outside of after evening prayer. I think I took something or shot something. I was trying, you know, the light was so sublime. I mean, it was, you know, it, it came in the west wind. Of course, you can't show it because you're not allowed to take pictures in the cathedral, you know. Uh, but so, but nonetheless, the light, you know, the high northern light, is very sublime, uh, particularly in the morning and the evening, particularly in the high summer. Now we're pat well, we're, well, we're well past high summer, but it's still sublime, particularly after you you know had this wonderful service uh, you know go on around you while you're sitting up in the choir you know while the choir is like there you know you're sort of here. I'm going to prepare to eat some sandwiches and cheese. And of course, I'm having some wine. Um, the service was great, except for one thing. Uh, first of all, the, uh, the presideress uh, was talking really, 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 really softly. Really, really softly. And even with a microphone and amplification system and the speaker right overhead you can barely hear her speak up honey you know come on you're talking to a whole cathedral and she announced the psalms now it turned out that two well she announced two psalms she announced psalm 27 and psalm 29 indeed they did sing psalm 27 well, sort of a, a, a chanty sort of thing, as the first psalm, which which in the prayer book, that's that's even prayer, that's evening prayer for day five. And indeed, 29 would be part of evening prayer for day five as well. But it turns out that the second psalm they sang was not 28, <clears throat> nor was it 29. And the third psalm they did was not 29 or 28. So somewhere along the line, and God forbid you'd put the damn psalms up on a signboard somewhere, sometimes they do, not tonight. Inquiring liturgical minds want to know. Nonetheless, it was some you know, Church happened. Even song happened. Church happened. God was praised. God was worshipped. <clears throat> Thanked and implored and, you know, asked for mercy. Well, that's what you do. What better place to do it than Durham Cathedral? That's for sure. So then I went, you know, I don't, you know, I'm going to talk about the sublime and the ridiculous. So then I went to Tesco. Well, first of all, you know, you know going to Tesco is involved uh, going through East Asia, South Asia, uh, parts of Scotland, various parts of the United Kingdom whose accents I have not yet heard or have not heard before. Um uh, you know, throngs of people. Fortunately, not with cars that are trying to run you down on one of the steepest streets I've ever walked up and down that has actually had traffic amongst pedestrians. <clears throat> that seems to that seems to die down around four or four thirty. In fact, a lot of stuff seems to sort of just sort of 
it stops happening and then it starts happening again around 4, 4.30 in the afternoon. Uh, for example, and we're going to get down to Tesco's in a moment, but for example, first, uh, I've been sitting, you know, in the various ale houses. He, who arrived in church, debauched from an ale house. Uh, I had been sitting in various ale houses and, uh, uh, you know, on Grinder, you know, when you get, you know, try to get on the Wi Fi, you know, you try to cajole the Wi Fi, what's going on around you and the, and your phone and hooking it up, hooking up to it. <clears throat> Today, uh, the phone was making me hook it up, hook up every time I turned the thing on and off. Unlike yesterday. I don't know why, but that's what it was doing. So I was, I was looking at Grinder. I would travel hopefully and all that. Hope springs eternal in Joe's breast. And uh, oh, about four o'clock, it's, like, it's like three different guys were messaging me, you know, bing, 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 you know, whatever that sound is it makes. And uh, there's a very pleasant guy, uh, I won't give his name, uh, from York. You know, he's probably, you know, he's probably in his, you know, mid 50s, late 40s. Uh, anyway, he's from York. Or around York, lives near York. Anyway, he says he works around in York. And uh, he's written a book, and he gave me the Amazon link to this book, you know, self published. And, uh, and he said, like a very, very pleasant guy, you know. And uh, he, he, he said he didn't like tattoos. And he said the tattoos were, tattoos were a deal killer for him. So, of course, I immediately sent him pictures of both my tattoos, or as my Australian friend would pronounce them. Tattoos. That drives the nuts when I say that. Say it that way. <laughs> Which, of course, is all the more incentive to keep saying it that way. <laughs> <clears throat> I want to thank Liz for looking at in on the house from time to time. Thank you, Liz. Always. Thank you. Uh, So let's see. Uh, so okay. So yeah, and there's this flurry of activity. So now let's continue on down, you know, through uh, various parts of uh, the world populations in the Eastern Hemisphere, down to said he probably sitting. Let's see. I think I actually am sitting in the Eastern Hemisphere right now. I'd have to check the exact, you know, longitude. Uh, that's okay. The Eastern Hemisphere is fine. I mean, after all, my Australian friend lives in the Eastern Hemisphere. He keeps making an appearance, doesn't he? Uh, that drove that just that drove Tony nuts every time I mentioned him. I've, I've, I, and I tried to keep it down. I really did. He'll deny it, of course, but <laughs> you can tell when somebody's annoyed. Yeah, fuck. Everybody, everybody can tell somebody's annoyed. Um, so anyway, so we're going to down to Tesco's, and so I, you know, I got four bottles of wine, or three, four, no, four. And I, I got some, I'm going to need to get some more sandwiches because it occurs to me, you know, I, I had the foresight to check to see if there's any Tesco's in this town called Denholm where I'm going to end up for three three days, three nights. Uh, and there isn't. So, uh I want to be. I want to go up there loaded for bear. Now, on the other hand, I, I could be, a, you know, be a be a player here and be a nice guy and at least order one meal. You know, buy at least one meal at the hotel where I'm staying and for an evening meal. You know, I'm I'm, I'm getting the breakfast there. You know, but uh, I suppose well, maybe I'll just you know be a sport here and buy 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 a meal from these people. Um, I'm sure I'm not going to buy a mule at the airport hotel when I stay there on the tent. That's for sure. Um, my favorite review of the food and the the whatever this place is called. It's called the Old Lang or Old something or other. A L U 
A L U A U L D. Old, you know, it's some Scottish old. I don't know what it is. I'm, I'm not going to look it up right now. Either. Uh, was our beef was kind of fatty. And I thought, well, hell, bring it on. I'll, you know, I'll eat the fattiest damn beef you've got, guys. You know, bring it out. You know, that's good to know for me. I still haven't got us through the front doors of Tesco's, have I? Uh, hang on a moment. Yeah. Yeah. My glass runs low a bit. <laughs> you never want the glass to run low on the Joe Kersey channel, do you? I don't, anyway. I was fortunate enough to catch the fact that Dean Caswell of In the Trenches with Caz, who is a retired infantry uh, veteran from uh, the Australian Army, um, was doing his, oh, did I just get wine on my T-shirt? Oh, I don't think I did. Okay. I rarely wear just gray T-shirts. I like the darker T-shirts or shirts or whatever. It makes me look makes me look more thin. Uh, anyway, so uh, so I I I've, I I stayed around for about another hour, you know, uh, rather than going out and and listen to his live stream and typed around. And, uh, there are a couple of guys uh, that, when I'm fortunate enough to actually get on his live stream, we'll, we'll go back and forth with me a little bit, which is fun. Which is not apropos at all of me even trying to get through the doors at Tesco. So, you go through Tesco, you go in, it's swarming, you know, these people are, you know, people, you know, people are, you know, out of whatever they do at university. Tutorials, classes, lectures, this, that. Um, setting up housekeeping, you know, is the start of the term. So, you know, more or less, I guess. I mean, a lot of these folks have probably been in town for the better part of two or three weeks. Um, what did I do to my hand? Look at that. Oh, well. Um, so, uh, I found the sandwiches right off because I know where they are. And I got a nice, nice little supply. Pardon me for belching at you. It's better that there are these people that sit in evening prayer and fart right next to you very silently. That's been happening a lot. And then the other day, I thought I, I thought I was sitting. I thought I was sitting next to a, a one of these gigantic tips. You know, one of these, these big dumpster tips. I thought, what the what the hell's what the hell's going on with this individual? <laughs> Speaking of sad souls in church services at Durham, yesterday and today, and and uh, the same in the same sad individual and unfortunate individuals involved in both these things. Uh, you know, yesterday we were diverted to a, a very rarely used, or it seemed to be rarely used, chapel as far as for the twelve thirty communion service. And I'm glad we were because it was really. I, and I, I talked about that in yesterday's video. Uh, and this woman was there, and she. Now I tend to, I tend to mutter a bit to myself. All right, but I, not audibly. Well, no, I try not to make it audible. You know, and I really get sort of into a, well, you know, no, you don't know because you don't know me but that well, but I try not to be disruptive. I mean, I try not, to, I try to stay in my seat. I try to, you know, stand up when people stand up, sit down when people, stand, you know, not, not try to grab hold of functionaries to give them my special request right then and there. Well, um, well, this, unlike she was doing yesterday. That's my bit defender update coming in. I don't know if you could hear that or not. And sure enough, she showed up today. Now, what was interesting was we were having we were having the, the Holy Communion in the uh, uh, the choir uh, right up by the high altar, and uh, she was doing almost like one of these uh, you know measured walks 
around the perimeter of the choir, right next to the stalls, uh, while she was praying, almost like like a like you know like a prayer discipline. I thought, well, good for her. I mean, that's good. I mean, she she was still you know clearly you know not quite. There's something uh, as unfortunate as she is. There's also something not quite right with this individual. But she was she was holding it together a lot better today. And uh, no, that's, you know, it could happen to any of us, you know. May God have mercy on her and heal her and whatever's going on. Well, anyway, we're still, we're still trying to, well, we bought, we, we've picked up sandwiches in Tesco's. So now it's time to find wine. Well, I was in this, I was in this very store the other, you know, not a few days ago. And bought wine in this very store. You know, can I remember where it is? Hell no, I can't remember where it is. I think that woman yesterday that, you know, made an issue over me, having to show my passport to sign, you know, left my card and all this, I thought, huh, huh, you know. I was thinking about paying cash, but I thought, no, 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 because I get I get air miles when I pay, pay with this card. And I thought, well, I'm not going to give them my air miles on this 30-pound purchase of wine and sandwiches <clears throat> I, mean, I do want to come back here or at least go somewhere on an airplane sometime here next year so <laughs> how do I just it just the grease just vaporizes off my face under these things um, so I I walked by an aisle that said, are you ready for this? And I wanted to take a picture of it so badly, but I thought, let's let's just not make more of a scene than what you might be making a scene anyway, without realizing it. Non-alcoholic wine. Let me let me repeat that. You know, for, for those of you that come from more enlightened cultures, you know, you know, you know, let me let me express my amazement of seeing. And for the very first time in the United Kingdom, by the way, <clears throat> on a shelf clearly labeled in one of the major grocery store chains in the United Kingdom, non-alcoholic wine. Well, that's almost an, that's an oxymoron. Non-alcoholic wine, well, that's an oxymoron. You know, you know, call it juice, you know, breakfast drink, kids' snack. Don't call it non-alcoholic wine. What the, f what the hell are you? What the hell are you on about? And they're charging money for it. This wasn't like some sort of elaborate joke that they would be passing out of the town square. It's like you know, oh here, let's all get a people party. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> but eventually, I did find the wine, and so I bought the wine. I put well, I put it in my basket. And then it, com then it comes time to buy the damn shit. Well, apparently, I put, my, I put my basket on the little shelf by the cash register uh, while this guy was checking out two other people in front of me who I thought, you know, I thought well, they're checking out. They're putting their shit in their bags that they brought or bought. You have to buy your own, you have to buy the bags over in the UK. I had a foresight to put my two plastic. See, maybe you can. Maybe I can show them to you here. See my, see my, see my, see my bags. I bought those the other day. I've been carrying those around all day in my coat pocket, knowing I was going to use them on the way home. Well, back to the hotel. Which, for all, yeah, I, I'm so tired of seeing the vulva behind me. I wish. I can't really find a way to. I'm not going to try to take it off the wall. That's a, just, just. I've had my face up in so many damn vulvas over the years. You know, I mean, I really just don't need to see another one right now. Pache, pache, pache! All my subscribers that have vulvas. I imagine they don't like to have cocks in their face either, do they? Probably, maybe. I don't know. Maybe they do. I don't know. <laughs>
or some guy's nutsack in their mouth. Which I do, by the way. Okay. Oh, enough of that. We mentioned that the other night. As as was pointed as was pointed out to me by my friend in Australia. Uh, life's rich tapestry. We live in a very cosmopolitan world. Anyway, so uh, I uh, eventually uh, I, I get up to the to the register till, if you will, and I said to the guy, you know, and he's like a college age guy, you know, he's probably an, old, an older college age. Guy. I said, I'm, I'm sorry, to, I didn't mean to violate your protocol, you know, because I didn't, you know, I thought maybe I guess you're supposed to stand there and then, then you put the thing on and then you move and then, I don't know. Anyway, I said, so I'm, you know, you know it's, it's always a good policy to sort of start off by apologizing sometimes. Unless you're in a true power situation, you know, and then no, you don't start off by apologizing ever. So uh, he checks it through and, 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 and it went through fairly. And I had enough, I had foresight to have the bags open. I was just stuffing the shit in the bag as he, because they don't give you much time to move, move away. Yeah, and it's like, you know, you know, like, Psh. so, uh, and of course I stuck the card in the thing too early, you know, take the card out, and then I said, okay. so then he said, now put the card out, put the card in, and then, um, and it went through, and, and it's, the thing spews out two pieces of paper, and he hands me the paper, and it wasn't like you had to sign it like you're signing a contract for a house or voting or some damn thing. It was like, here, you know, fine, here, you know, you know and I put them in my bag and off I go. And then he said, call him, hey, and I sort of hit like, oh, and he said, so he says, me, he says, do you have your receipt? I said, well, I fetched, I fetched one of them out of the bag. The other one had fallen down somewhere deep in the bag. Fortunately, it was the one he wanted. And so I had to sign it. And I said, you know, it's like buying a damn house over here when you buy some food. I mean, it's ridiculous. I mean, just card goes in, card gets accepted. You know, this. And then, of course, as I marched back to the hotel, I went into one of my little internal riffs. You know, 25 years ago, yeah, we had, the, you know, you know, that was what the old machines, you know. Is sign it and all that. Okay, that's that was twenty that was twenty five fucking years ago. And oh wait a minute. Oh, as far as I know, the actual internet, as far as the kind of things we use it for now, wasn't really you know didn't really get going until maybe you know the late nineties. And I thought it's this isn't you know this isn't a you know this is not some sort of defense contract I'm signing here. I'm buying sandwiches with wine at Tesco's. <laughs> Just give me a break. Anyway, okay, so I got my food, I got out. Nobody hollered at me too much, you know. Yeah, I looked like a fool, but fuck, you know, anymore nowadays I kinda of look like a fool all the time. It doesn't it just doesn't, doesn't bother me anymore. <laughs> You know, just so got back to the hotel by the grace of God, you know, and and oh, and there's this like, huge coach load, huge coach load of Germans pulling up in front of the hotel, and of course everything has to be just fucking precise, and there's always one guy in charge. Badgering, 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 badgering the driver who's trying to unload these fucking bags and pass them out. And it's like, you know, just, I wish, I wish this driver would just go ballistic and deck this motherfucker. I really do. You know, that's supposed to be GBH or some, you know, 10-year prison sentence or something. You know, just, just come on. You know, I mean, I would test, I would willingly testify that the guy was provoked. I love our German friends. They're our allies. Well, they are now. I have to applaud Angela Merkel for her attitude toward 
the homeless, the friendless, the refugee. She was being a Christian. Turns out it didn't work out, but I applaud her for trying. But Just go with the flow, guys. You know, see, I tried to go with the flow of Bert Tesco, so I knew I was somehow, you know, screwing up all sorts of protocols. I tried not to make an issue of it. You know, I mean, I kept saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What, I, what I've decided not to do uh, uh, as much as I usually have done in the past is get off into the street off the sidewalk unless there's an obviously disabled person coming right down the damn way at me. You know, if somebody's in there that needs the, needs the full sidewalk, I will get into the street. But if you've got a couple walking down side by side holding hands, here's an idea. It's called single file. Single file on the pavement. Well, we, we call them side. The bridge call them pavements. Single file on the pavement when you've got one of these narrow things and there's traffic coming down. That will kill you if you step out. And no, don't, don't expect the widow and the orphan and stranger. I'm sure that, that, what I was just doing right there probably just, you know, drove you nuts in your ears. Don't expect the widow, orphan, and stranger to step off the sidewalk for that. What I've decided not to do is, <clears throat> uh, well, no, I've just, no, I will, you know, I have to have a very good reason anymore to get off the pavement for people. And it's, and it's not because you're in a cluster with your friends from East Asia talking on your damn phones. I told a group of those folks in San Francisco the same thing about two months ago. I'm not getting off the side for sidewalk for you guys. I'm just not. I'm just not. Single file. And try to stay up with the flow, too, by the way. I do. I try. Sometimes I fail, obviously. But in general, I, I keep up with the best of them on the walking sticks. Okay, I think I'm flogging. I'm flogging stuff now. Well, okay, I I I might put clips on the end. I might not. We'll see. Uh, plan of attack for now, after I've had my pills, is to have some food. Uh, clearly, I'm not going to be catching up on much YouTube stuff. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, my 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 nephew. Uh, more properly, my honorary nephew, but. I, he, as far as I'm concerned, he's my nephew. Uh, Ed B. Uh, from Clarksville, Tennessee, called me uh, on FaceTime last night, which was very nice, and uh, we had a nice little session. Uh, it was an unexpected treat. It's always good to hear from people from home when you're traveling, and uh, with the technology today, always nice to see a, see a face and, uh, you know, hear a voice. Uh, uh, so, um, there's a fire burning in uh, Durham Cathedral again tonight for, uh, the big candle too, not this tea light shit. Yeah, big candle. That's a lot of fun. That's a lot of fun. Oh. But uh, so tomorrow, uh, go to Holy Communion and even song again. That's my plan. Now, I think on the uh, on the seventh, on the day I leave, I won't probably get to go to any services. Uh, <clears throat> but I might um, walk down along the river uh, to the place. Uh, oh, man, that damn that damn gash there, and the big vulva there just drives me nuts. Uh, I might walk down along the river tomorrow morning. Uh, oh, 
Oh, that's actually not too bad. Oh, you can't get away from it. It's everywhere. It's here, it's there, it's everywhere. Oh, it's, there's, just some, there's some sort of kid's thing that says that. It wasn't part of my childhood, but probably blighted several kids' child, child, childhoods. <laughs> Is it childhoods or childhoods? Words, huh? Well, that's how you think. Words are important. All right, I'm going to say bye-bye now, YouTubers. And this is, oh, this has gone quite a while. Well, that's okay, because um, it's been fun, for me anyway. Hopefully for you. All right, bye-bye. <laughs>